Right. Um, our next guest, um, and I have to say I'm looking forward to this interview, uh, is, well, we've talked much about in recent times um, the, uh, I guess the, 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 the question is Maori education uh, in particular. I actually, can I say, um, grew up uh, and went to boarding school with a lot of Maori boys came from up the river, um, up the Wangaroo River. And after they went to school, they went to a, a Maori Trades Training Academy. And it was a Maori Trades Training Academy in Wellington, where I met up with them, had a few beers later on as well. Um, and there was Maori Trades Training. And it worked, I have to say, expertly well. And my friends from boarding school ended up having really good trades jobs and um, so good in actual fact that they got on a plane <laughs> in the 1980s uh, and have lived in Australia ever since and uh, have lived a good life. Come back just to show everybody their latest toy uh, and then go back again. Um, but somebody who's played a key role in Maori education in this country, uh, a prominent Maori leader, comes from my old nick of the woods, uh, Nadi Kanunu is Robin Harpy, and he has recently, as I understand, retired. He received uh, a, a companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, uh, and he, um, yeah, he, he, he was an outstanding director of uh, Maori um, trades training of the time, a former commissioner, indeed, I think, of the Tertiary Education Commission, from memory, um, and he joins us now. Robin, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. Lovely to have you on. Kia ora, Michael. Thank you very much. In fact, um, um, I'm a current. Uh, in fact, I'm a current commissioner of the Tertiary Education Commission, recently appointed as deputy chair. So, just an update on my CV. So, have you gone back onto the TEC? Have you? Yes, yes. I was invited back on, which was, I think, probably the first person to have achieved that distinction. And uh, I'm looking forward to serving. Um, the Tertiary Education Commission in our country again in that capacity. Good on you. Um, you're also Nadi Kanunu, um, Robin. I'm trying to remember. Yes. Napier Hastings. Uh, Hastings out at Tahoke, but um, I think you and I might have uh, run into each other in the past when you were in Hawke's Bay. My daughter remembers um, going and singing. She went to St. Joseph's. Oh, uh, up there, so marvellous. Murray Girls College. How do I yes, bet, yeah. She remembers, yeah, she remembers going along and singing a couple of waiata for you when you were performing God's work up there. Yeah, no, she was a lovely... Uh, listen, I, Georgina Kingy was the yes. principal then. I think she's only just recently retired, hasn't she, Robin? She has, she has. She's a really dynamic contributor to Māori education, absolutely. They made her a dame in the end, didn't they? Yes, and well-deserved too, if I Yeah, might absolutely. Say so. Absolutely. And, and, and really, that's what I want to talk about, because um, Maori education um, has been in some state of, well, disarray for a long time. Um, and I guess there is the view that um, a separate Maori education system may or may not be a good thing. Haroho Hepa, though, which is uh, St. Joseph Maori Girls College in Green Meadows uh, in Napier, um, their academic record stands by its own. Um, it's an outstanding school, produces outstanding young girls, uh, led by an outstanding figure in education. Is there a place for a separate Maori education system in this country? I'm not too sure, to be honest, uh, Michael. Um, I think that with the right support, um, Maori can succeed in our existing uh, system as Maori. Um, with the kura kaupapa we've got, with kōhanga reo, with our wānanga system, and even in the main system as well, Māori can succeed because there are mechanisms that are available uh, to help them succeed as Māori within the general education system. And uh, take, for example, uh, the one that I'm, I'm involved with, and that's Pūhoro, which is a STEM academy, mm -hmm. which started way back in 2016 with just 97 students within Massey University, uh, was created within Massey University as a means of attracting Māori students to tertiary study, uh, was involved in only two regions. So from 97 students in two regions, it's now gone up to 4,000 students uh, in uh, 13 or 14 regions. But the reason that I mention Pūhoro 
is the outstanding results that they are achieving in encouraging our young Māori men and women into science, technology, engineering, mathematics and mātauranga subjects, so into STEM subjects. And they're achieving, because of the unique um, way in which they operate, statistics that outperform the rest of the country. So Māori can succeed, uh, and it's just um, wanting to succeed as Māori. That's um, a little bit of a challenge for our our general system, and that's why you've got the likes of Pūhoro and Kuta Kaupapa and Kōhanga and Wāmanga that are doing a, a sterling job out there. Okay, let's um, just go through that and, and unpack it from my point of view, just so you can help me on this one, Robin. Um, sure. Is it is it that they are succeeding because, um, as you say, they're not compromising necessarily their Maori cultural values, or are they succeeding because they've got a mum and dad at home who are aspirational for them and have set them down a guideline of achievement? I think it's both. Um, I don't think that a child can su succeed um, if it doesn't, or if that child doesn't have support from the home base. And what we've got to find and what we are finding with, with the likes of Pūhoro is that uh, it's not a program that's focused exclusively on the student. It's fo focused on bringing the whānau, the family, with the student in this exercise um, uh, of, uh, of um, encouraging um, tertiary study in particular and then into employment. So um, I, think, I think it's both, Michael. Um, I don't think the child can succeed unless the whānau or the family is there supporting him uh, or her. It's, it's a unique child that, um, su that succeeds without family support. Uh, mm. So we mm. focus in Pūhoro on both. Um, okay. And, uh, well, when you say focus and, and on both, what, what, do, what do you mean by that? So what makes you different than, oh, I don't know, a very good school? Okay, so what we do is um, in the program itself, first of all, we encourage the students to be Māori in this program. We um, uh, run uh, exercises on in um, marae or in Māori settings uh, which are science related or technology related or engineering related or mātauranga or mathematics related. So we treat the child as a Māori uh, being and we try to encourage them to participate in things from a Māori perspective. So for example, they might have, um, they might have uh, games that utilize uh, Māori weaponry, for example, to um, show uh, the effect of physics and, um, the, uh, uh, and those sorts of things. They use Māori mechanisms to introduce our young people to uh, subjects that are, are really important in school and motivate them and get them thinking wider and uh, uh, more in a more innovative sort of way. And so that's the, that's the sort of the unique proposition that um, Pūhoro has. And then we encourage uh, whānau or family support by having quite a number of family-related uh, occasions where uh, the tauida come along. Uh, they might have been, for example, to uh, one of our uh, internships. Um, they might have received a scholarship. Um, they might have uh, been visiting uh, one of the... Uh, indigenous leadership programs that we send them on to uh, Hawaii or Taiwan or Singapore, Houston, San Francisco, Silicon Valley. Uh, we had a recent one in Alabama in partnership with Honey Honeywell. Now the parents, the families participate in, to the extent of um, encouraging their children to participate, uh, being with them at, um, at occasions where uh, they are um, alerted to the opportunities, uh, involved with them, um, and in, in some some instances, the tutors or the staff that um, we have uh, employed within the Puhoro program are visiting families as well to make sure that the family is aware 
of these opportunities that are out there and that we're encouraging them to participate in. So it's okay, a, a so, pretty holistic sort of approach. Well, having said that, though, um, for all that, it's STEM subjects. Uh, they have their own disciplines and their own yep. um, structures as well. Um, so when we talk about STEM, we're talking about what? Science, technology, um, engineering, engineering, and mathematics. Math. Yeah, that's right. And we've added another M. We've added and what's another your other M. one? So it's FD. The other M is uh, Matauranga. It's about being Māori. It's about understanding Māori concepts. It's about being familiar maybe not capable or competent, but being familiar with your language, with your Māori language. 